So guys, now we've finished breakfast, what do you think happens to these empty boxes? Recycle! Good job. Do you know what happens to our rubbish? No. Would you like to go to a recycling plant to find out? Yeah! Well, we're going to head off to Bryson Recycling today, so let's go get our coats. Did you know recycling one aluminium can saves enough energy to power your TV for three hours? Did you know recycling one ton of newspaper will save 17 trees? Aluminium cans and glass can be recycled over and over again. So I'm Colin from Bryson Recycling and we're talking today about emptying this wheelie box we are. So today we've got with us, what's your name? Aaron and Aaron and James. So I'm going to show them the different uh, components to this box here. So in here we've got all our paper, so we're going to put that in there. Just stand back a wee bit. And then in this box we've got our plastic and tins and juice cartons. So we're going to put them in the front up here. And in this box here, we've got all our glass and our card. So we're taking our glass out, if he's wanting to come with me. And we just put our glass up in here. Okay, and then keep coming with me. And then we put all our cardboard in the back, so we do. We need to sort all these out, because this lorry, we recycle out on the road. So this all goes back to the plant and it's just bailed up the way it is. So all our plastics and cans go there, our paper goes there our car there, our glass there, and our clothes and batteries there. And it helps Britain and helps everybody with recycling. One of the benefits of the wheelie box system is that the materials are sorted at the curbside, so no further sorting is required whenever the vehicles come back to site at the end of the day. The paper is tipped straight into the paper bay, the glass is tipped straight into the glass bay. The only items that do need further sorting is the plastics, cans and cartons from the top deck of the vehicle. We use a magnet to sort out the steel cans from the mix, so a conveyor would move through the plant there's a magnet going across the top of the conveyor and all the steel cans are attracted to the magnet and then they're bailed. We use an optic sort to sort out the plastics. A ray of light hits the plastic conveyor and it recognises anything that is plastic and anything that is not plastic. Anything that is plastic, a jet of air hits it and it separates it onto a separate section of the conveyor. Now we're going to talk about the importance of recycling. Why do you think it's important to recycle? Um, to reuse the stuff, your old stuff, like to stop chopping down trees and reuse wallpaper. Yep. If you don't recycle, the world, the world will be littered. Yeah, those are two really good answers. So. Recycling is really important because it means that you're reusing resources again. We look at um, people's rubbish and we think it's a resource. Um, we know that all of these aluminium cans can be recycled back into new aluminium cans. It means uh, using less of the natural resources in the world as well. Also a really important one is over 80% of what we collect in the curbside boxes and the wheelie boxes is recycled here in Northern Ireland. So it's recycled locally and that's really good for the environment and it also creates local jobs, um, which is a big plus point as well. Today we learned so much. Let's recap. Lots of different materials can be recycled. Paper, plastic, cans, bottles, glass, cardboard and much more. When the materials come to a recycling plant, they sometimes have to be sorted. A strong magnet helps to sort the steel cans from the aluminium and plastic. A special beam of light helps to sort the plastic. A special jet of air shoots the plastic away from other rubbish. It's important to recycle as much as we can to improve our environment improve our world and conserve natural resources. 
What will you recycle today?